Hi, how's it going? I'm Tim. Welcome to the next part of my walkthrough for The Witcher 3. This is Ladies of the Wood. Tell the Elderman of your down warren you took care of the problem. So, I was just about to do a thing for a tree, but in the end I decided that the tree sounded like it had an evil voice, and therefore I killed it. Hopefully it wasn't a nice tree, just with an evil voice. And hopefully the, ki the kitties don't die, because he was saying that if I didn't help him, a bunch of kids were going to die, and it was a pretty hardcore decision. I still don't know if I made the right decision. Can I get out of here with my horse? I'm going to tell these dudes what's going on. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd you dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. What's he gonna do with the dagger? Please don't do something bad. Ah! There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving, and we must tarry on our young'uns and their young'uns after. Ah, oh, Christ. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Well, that was a bit grim. New item received, hunting boots, and something else. Yeah. Going on here. Achieve your weapon, young man. Mm -hmm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Should have killed the witches. They look like the baddies now. Ah. Alright, I think we gotta get rid of these things too. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for your done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. They are going to kill the kids. Let's talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. 
A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Oh, it looks like Come. a garden gnome. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a nail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. That does not one of the kids in the bag, that's gross. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. don't believe you. They say you always keep your word, so tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Hmm. We knew someone's supposed to We let the beast in trails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness. A mirage in a bloody room. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The same seed that would burst into flame. Hmm. She's got Siri. She fell into our hands. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. Siri, no! Very well. Get on with it! No! Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Good work, Siri. Get out of there. Oh, here comes the dark wild hunt warrior. 